Set against the backdrop of the American Revolutionary War, Conrad Richter's historical fiction novel, The Light in the Forest, 1953, delves into the life of True Son, a young white boy who was captured and raised by the Lenni Lenape tribe. After living happily among the Native Americans for 11 years, True Son faces the central conflict of the story, finding his sense of belonging amidst escalating tensions between the Lenape and white settlers. This poignant tale was adapted into a film of the same name by Walt Disney Productions in 1958. The narrative unfolds in 1764 in western Pennsylvania, where hostilities between Native American tribes and white settlers reach a boiling point. Years earlier, the Lenape tribe had taken several white children captive, including True Son, who was lovingly raised by his adopted father, Quiloga, since the age of four. True Son has embraced the Lenape way of life, considering white men to be violent oppressors who hunt Native Americans for sport. However, True Son's idyllic existence with the Lenape is disrupted when Colonel Bouquet leads a large force of 1,500 men to reclaim the captured children. In a tense ultimatum, Bouquet warns the Lenape tribal leaders that failure to return the hostages will result in their loss of land and freedom. Though Quiloga loves his white son, he prioritizes preserving their land and coerces True Son to leave his adopted family and return to the white settlement. Temporarily entrusted to Dell, who speaks the native languages, True Son attempts to readjust and feel more at ease among the white community. However, his deep-seated animosity towards the white men and the confines of the village intensifies, as he yearns for the freedom and connection to nature he once experienced with the Lenape. Dell, unable to comprehend True Son's perspective, views the stone settlements of the white men as a testament to their superiority and culture. During his time in the white village, True Son's despair deepens, and he contemplates suicide by consuming a poisonous plant. However, Dell intervenes, persuading him to choose life. In the midst of his turmoil, True Son finds solace when his Lenape cousin, Half Arrow, and his wife, Little Crane, visit him in town with hopes of rescuing him. True Son's path crosses with his biological white family, the Butlers. His mother is in poor health, and his father remains emotionally distant, both unable to comprehend True Son's language or cultural background. They urge him to embrace his given name, John Cameron Butler, but True Son staunchly refuses. His only source of comfort lies in his younger brother, Gordy, who possesses a fascination for True Son's Native American heritage and seeks to learn about living in harmony with nature. However, True Son's bond with Gordy is strained when he encounters his uncle Wills, a former leader of the violent and Native American-hating Paxton Boys. Uncle Wills's past actions include scalping Native Americans, including individuals True Son once knew. Their clash escalates into a heated argument about the rights of Native Americans, resulting in Uncle Wills striking True Son. Later, True Son confides in Half Arrow, sharing the disturbing truth about Uncle Wills. It is revealed that Uncle Wills had taken the life of Little Crane the previous night due to his displeasure with the jokes she and Half Arrow made about white people. Motivated by a desire to confront Uncle Wills, True Son and Half Arrow seek him out. In an act of retribution, they partially scalp him before fleeing into the safety of the woods, where they conceal themselves for several weeks. Eventually, they return to their tribal lands, where they are warmly received by the Lenape tribe. In response to Wills's abhorrent actions and Little Crane's death, the Lenape tribe plans a rebellion, intending to attack the white settlers. True Son, however, is disturbed when he witnesses the scalps of not only men but also children and women, prompting a deep internal conflict. True Son's internal conflict reaches its climax when he discovers that among the boats targeted for attack by the Lenape tribe are children, and he fears that one of them may be his cherished younger brother, Gordy. Overwhelmed by his love for his brother and the moral dilemma he faces, True Son makes a fateful decision. He divulges the tribe's plan inadvertently exposing their intentions and betraying his adopted tribe. As a result of his treason and perceived betrayal, True Son is rejected by his once beloved Lenape tribe. Cast out, he finds himself journeying back along the road to the white camp where his tumultuous journey began. The book concludes with this poignant moment of True Son's return to the white community, leaving his fate uncertain. Conrad Richter, the author of The Light in the Forest, was an esteemed American novelist whose literary focus centered on different periods of the American frontier. Active as a writer from 1924 to 1968, 
Richter gained recognition for his notable works such as A Light in the Forest, The Sea of Grass, The Town, and The Awakening Land. His contributions to literature were acknowledged with prestigious accolades, including a Pulitzer Prize for fiction, multiple National Book Award nominations, and honorary doctorates. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.